What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host. For those that are new, listen, I am doing a 24-hour live stream, April 22nd, live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash royaltiesworld. CEO, you will be able to find me here. Y'all make sure y'all come tap in with me on Twitch. I'm reacting to these videos early. Everybody gets, you know, they're able to see these videos early. And if you would like to do so, twitch.tv slash royaltiesworld CEO. Y'all get into this video, man. It is crazy. Love y'all. Hell yeah. I don't even like, I don't even want to be dramatic and talk about stuff. Well, no, you know, the, the crazy thing about when you experience some shit like this, y'all, just being honest, when you are experiencing it, if it's normal to you, it doesn't come across as bad. But when you rewatch the shit and when you, when other people rewatch the shit, it makes you, it, it, it's, it makes you realize how okay, deep that shit really was. Like, to be called a narcissist, make sure I'm but to also know that every single time behind the scenes, I was being called fat, weird, ugly, bitch, short, all kind of things. Which uh, I have, I, I did not call Lou those names. Just making it clear, because I know y'all say, well, what would you call her? Nothing. Because that's not how alcohol works. That's not how it works. Okay. Sometimes it would just be because she was in a really good mood and I didn't want to party with her. Sometimes it would be because she was playing music loud from 12 p.m. to 3 a.m. and we already had noise disturb the complaints. It, it didn't have to be much. And I, the only thing I hate about the situation, and the only reason I had to go to therapy for the situation, for me, for me personally, is because you was got to hit be with a able pot. to deal with there always being people in the world that will think there was a reason <laughs> for something that there really shouldn't be a reason for. Yeah, I feel, uh, how she do Thank that? you so much, JD. Thank you so much, Mari, and to everybody else. That thing kissed her on the cheek. I gotta start going live on TikTok. I say all of that shit to say. Hopefully, I'm not missing anything else. I'm sure. Whatever. I say all of that to say this. Y'all, the proof is in the damn pudding. If you want to believe something, you believe it. If you don't want to believe it, don't believe it. All I care about is the fact that I got to say it. That's the only thing I ever cared about in this whole situation. I, feel I don't give a damn that. if nobody believed me as long as I said my truth. That's all I care about. And as long as I showed my proof. Because I don't make no, no, I would never make such a grand statement. Yeah, we got to start going live. Knowing that I can't back up what I was trying to say. I would never do no shit like that. I also really would prefer y'all don't bash nobody. I'd rather y'all bash me than bash her. You know why? Nah. Because the thing about y'all bashing her, it's making, it's triggering me. Because now she's triggered. And now she's getting into her vindictive mood and now it becomes a situation against me. Even though... What? I swear to y'all, there's been so many times that she has been apologetic about these situations. For her to... For now it to not just be a thing, that's just crazy to me. But, you know, there's two roads you could take with this. You could try to save face or you could take the... You, you could say sorry. There's, there's just two ways you could take it. She, I didn't know what, what, what she was going to do. It really wasn't based off what she was going to do. It was always based off me being able to return back to YouTube with the full truth. That's all I care about. The timing would have always been off no matter what I did, y'all. Because if I would have waited until her YouTube channel was 100,000, 200,000 subscribers in, it would have been because I was hating. If I did it before she dropped her YouTube channel, it would have been because I was hating. No matter what, it would have been because I was hating. Mm. Imagine... Y'all telling me I'm hating for telling y'all that I was being beat. That shit is crazy. No, nigga. She threw a crock. Yeah, hello? She threw a crock pot at her. I'm, I'm letting That's it all out. For all of this. <laughs> and if I would have told you guys no, this two bash. weeks ago, I probably would have well. been jumping off the cliff right after. Because I wouldn't have been able to mentally handle the commentary that comes with this. And this is something that I, I'm choosing. I choose to be on YouTube. I enjoy editing videos. I always told you guys that I enjoy eating food. Y'all know how much I love food. But I couldn't anymore. That was taken away from me with the lie. And I had to correct that lie. And now that I corrected the lie, I can move forward. Oh, good. And eventually everybody else will move forward, as everybody always does. 
but I can't move forward without sharing my story. Sure. Because my story is valid. And I am worth it. No matter what anybody thinks, I know I'm worth it. It took a long time for me to realize that. And nobody could take that away from me anymore. And now... I now unmodded you. I they can delete it now. Out of a relationship for the first time for real, I really see what I value. I really see what's important about life and things like that. And I really have gained a sense of self. Thank you guys so much for all of the gifts. Um, and that's where I'm at with it. So mm. no matter what is said, I'm telling you this right now, I don't care because at the end of the day, if you were willing to say to say that that you didn't hit me, <laughs> then you're willing to say anything. Yeah, and facts. I agree. Whatever. You're willing to do whatever. I completely agree. And now I don't put nothing past you. And now it just is what it is. That's crazy. Do we have any questions in the chat? I'm gonna read it through it, skim it. If I feel like I already answered, it, I'm not gonna do it. But just to get this over, because I really want to be done, bro. I just want to be done. This is crazy. I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> Y'all, she just started this live, so I can't say much. I'm going to get my commentary at the end, and I'm talking to my actual YouTube video, not the people in my chat right now. I so I never hit crazy. back. That is a very good question. Absolutely. Sometimes I hit back. Sometimes I definitely push back. Of course. All right. You can't get hit that many times and not. And when I say that's okay, let me rephrase that. Yeah. I pinned back because if I would have hit her back, the fight would have never stopped. I've pushed her off of me. Yes, of course. We, I'm not now. Like, listen, I'm from New York. I'm not just gonna let somebody just beat on me, beat on me. Nah, but nigga, I also crap, don't want to antagonize the fight. So because I didn't want to fight, I'm not gonna be like, well, what, what's up? Let's blah, blah, blah. But I'm not gonna just let. I'm not gonna just sit there like a dumb fool and just let somebody just beat. No, like I'm. I, I'm gonna be real with y'all. Yes, getting hit yes, with a I, crock pot is jail time, my nigga. Getting spit on is jail time. That's crazy. I usually would give a countdown. And I'm bad at like fighting people I love too, though. Number I can't even Like fully, and like again, really fighting somebody I leave, love is hard. Because I want to make it clear. There's but spit in a crock pot got to be a line. It's a point in time. I don't give a fuck what nobody and says. You cannot it just take me? no shit just lying down all the oh time. Oh my God. That's different. But the, the things that I always did to cover my ass, because it's not something I wanted to do, turn on the video, because if something does happen, I need them to see how this shit started and how it ended. That's number one. And I advise anybody that's being abused, if you can't do that, please do that. Because, of course, you know when the cops come, it becomes a he said, she said, and video saved my life many times before. Damn. Along with a person already presenting drunk, so it's really, it's much easier to, you know, if she get on this prove your innocence, but say still, she didn't do it, that that's would be one. so crazy. <laughs> like for Number two, I always gave a warning. Like, I, I, I always let the first two, three things go by. Always listen now. You doing too much now. Come on now. Number three, I always got my shit, my coat, everything, and would try to leave. But there was a few things that would be done to Baby, stop, a crock pot. stop me from doing that sometimes. Some crock pot coming for me, bitch. I'm throwing the stove at your ass. Because I was scared that she was gonna destroy my apartment. Because she would threaten, she was gonna break the TV, she was gonna do this stuff. And again, I paid for this shit. She didn't give a fuck about this apartment. She could leave anytime she wants. You know what I'm saying? If she didn't have any. Her name is not on it. And again, not because of me. It's just because she can't do that. That had nothing to do with me. It's not because I wanted it like that. Not because I was being controlling. I was the one that had the credit. Period. We believe you. So. <laughs> Look, I believe everything at this point <laughs> that she said. For it to be made seem like. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this shit is not real. I just, I don't know. I don't know how else you could. I don't know. All I know is. Is going if 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 it's not going to be an apology, the only thing that can happen is a lie. That's all I can say about she, it. That and nigga, she whatever ain't the lie may be, apologizing and gonna lie. Is it as believable as possible? That would be. She has crazy. had a lot of time to concoct one, seeing as though she waited till eleven. Eleven. She has had much time to to create. God, that's over here, and, and that's oh, okay. Shit, y'all know it's my again, bedtime. I'm prepared for this. Doesn't make it any uh. easier, and I still feel very very uh stressed out about this y'all have known me for many years and i've hidden it for many years because of this exact moment but i also feel a sense of relief and i also feel like i can breathe that's terrible and i also feel like i can come back to youtube and that's the only thing i wanted i wanted to be able to get 
that the baby that was created from the situation and the one of the oh, positive damn. things that did Chris, come from, like, from our relationship. We definitely grew together, and that's great. But Speaking crazy. of the YouTube situation, I already mentioned the password and the reason why I wouldn't give it. If you're threatening to delete the YouTube video whenever you're drunk, the YouTube video, delete the, de delete the account, which I can't get back. Once you delete the account, you can't undelete it. Yes, a fact. So if every single time you're tipsy and drunk, you're threatening to destroy everything I love the most, throw my phone, throw your phone at me, uh, breaking my PlayStation, doing everything. What? The, I can't give you, that's like giving you the keys to my job. Yeah, nah, hell nah. First I of can't all, do breaking my PlayStation, you gotta go. Stupid, I, I might I could pause this be okay. anything you guys want me to be. Breaking my I'm PlayStation, you can go. I, also, <laughs> the game is crazy. She did not take any initiative when it came to it. And it was always clear in the videos. A lot of people will always say that. I didn't care if she took initiative <laughs> because I didn't mind being the creative one, the editing one, all that stuff. But what bothers me is her saying it as if I didn't want to teach her that. Y'all, you think I would move to a different state if I wasn't trying to empower somebody? Like, I moved to the state to get her closer to her daughter. Jeez. I taught her how to do a whole lot of things so that she can be a better person. Like, she didn't know how to do laundry. She didn't know how to do that stuff. And I was never ashamed I believe to do you. that because at the end of the day, I was looking to empower her. She empowered me to be brave. That's why I one thing I can say. Lou empowered me to be brave enough to be a YouTuber. That was how she taught me. She got 7K she, people. Her sitting bitch. next to me made me feel safer to meet you guys and to make videos and to go through the judgment and stuff like that. In return, I had no problem empowering her in the way that she needed to be empowered. She Shit. had a lot of issues with, you know, oh, her daughter and things like that. I brought her... Uh, you're not gonna have that issue no more. I'll come and live out there with you. I don't know no fuck shit about Delaware, but I'll do that. Because I want you to be happy. Nice guys finish last, man. Lou was not only paid, but I paid her child support. Ooh. Which her child's father would attest to for me because he knows how good I was to you them. paid at the time that I was saying it when it was my responsibility. It was never my responsibility. I took on the responsibility because I felt bad that she didn't think that she should pay it based on their history. That's not my business. But I like I'm trying to show y'all the type of person I was to her. It doesn't fit for me to just be a shitty ass person and then be the same person at the same time it's just not it what it is was when you are good to a person who almost like from inception you you kind of have like it's kind of toxic from inception our situation was toxic from inception y'all know that when she came to me like i pretty much started taking care from her care of her as soon as she came to me before we started youtube she was living with me taking care of me when we were having breaks from youtube and there was no money coming in nah, there was only one friends. person working and i still took care of everything all of the time all of the time you don't have that person and the person that she's trying to describe <laughs> like it's not that the truth of the matter is i've become all of these things because i couldn't take any more and i can't take any more and i'm okay with that now she had to I air everything out. Point. Yes. I can't do it anymore. I can't fake it. She had to air everything out because somebody in the comments said she don't like how she did that. Y'all, that girl was going to run with the fact that she wasn't abusive and she was cool with Tay playing that game. No, man. Allow the healing to already start. And then try to make it seem like she's the narcissist, but you over here whooping my ass. Three Absolutely months. Not. Six months. That means six months of a tumultuous relationship and three months of a better time. There was not not better times ever. Like I'm not gonna cap, but I don't know. <clears throat> <laughs> it's editing her script for me because that's a fact. what I had to say. <laughs> I showed what I had to show. Oh god! And then you hit me with yes. a crock pot. Her route is girl, throwing the world. me further under <laughs> the bus or crock throwing me under the bus again. Because she doesn't and like to hit me with it. That's crazy. I had to do this for me. Okay. That could be the last hit, I guess. And then we could be done with it. Whatever she has to do to save face for herself. Okay. Okay. 
I just know I feel better now. I feel good for me, and I'm excited to be back. She could have fucking killed her. TikTok. That's a crock pot. And yeah. <clears throat> Yes, we were definitely cool after the breakup, y'all. I want to make that clear. We were cool. All of that stuff. Like, some people, you know, when you find out something, you start going to old videos and try to piece things together. It's hard. Y'all can't piece it together because the majority of the time when we weren't doing well, we wouldn't post. We weren't that type of couple. Like, I don't want y'all to think the videos y'all were seeing were fake. Y'all saw us during the better times. Uh -huh. Because I wouldn't record Hell during no. the bad times. I'd rather have worked my ass off hustling and bustling and all my little odd jobs that I have to make money that way instead of forcing us to pretend that we're good, forcing more makeup on my face. Like, I can't do that. Nah, that's crazy. That's why we man. took so many breaks. And that's the real truth. She could lie about that if she wants to, too. I don't care. <laughs> but, damn, what was the question at hand? I forgot why I, why, why I even went to the... What did y'all ask me just now? Me. What the fuck? Y'all asked me. Even, I can't remember what the question was. What was we even talking about? <sighs> what are you doing? Nerves is all fucked up. Do I have any scars? Yes, they're all over my face. Put you guys can't see it because, on her face is crazy. Uh, thing, but yeah, I mean you can see it, but I have a, there's a, a decent filter, but I don't put that much makeup on my face anymore because after time scars do heal. But yeah, all of these that's that's, that's all that came. I didn't have none of that shit before I met her. Nothing, nothing. Man, that's crazy to just scratch her face like that. I know somebody. If y'all even that noticed, like to this other person situation, like, I've had to wear less and less makeup, less mm, and less and less. That's crazy because my face is starting to heal. My hair is starting to grow. I can grow my hair back. What happened to her hair? Did she cut her hair? If she cut her hair, that is cr bitch. <laughs> Better than me. Oh my god. Nah, this different. This this is different. <clears throat> oh man. Um. Oh. Am I happy? I'm trying to like some of these questions. I just don't want to do too much. Lexi and Greg, thank you so much. Am I happy now? I'm working on my happy. Is this a wig? No, not a wig. Pork chop, thank you so much. Greek, thank you so much. Pork chop. What happened with my hair? I mean, y'all know what happens during fights. So sometimes you pull somebody's hair, chunks come out. Sometimes I would cut my hair because it was too many chunks out of my hair at the time. What? I had to cut it, and that's why I kept cutting my hair. Meg, yeah. Some, I'm not gonna lie, y'all. So I'm sorry for being defensive. It's just like, it's if this is not easy, okay? It's not easy, <laughs> not easy, and I'm just. Appreciate it's embarrassing to me. It's embarrassing that I let it happen. But it's also, always you know, lady like a titty. People, What's that's up, another, gang? Another thing. People are saying, up, "Oh, man? well, you don't seem like a scared person." I'm not scared of Lou. I'm stronger than Lou. I wasn't scared of Lou. I was scared of Lou with a weapon. I was scared that Lou, it might not be enough for her just to spit this time or hit me just time. I was scared that it could escalate. It was never about one-on-one -on -one combat. I know I'm stronger than Lou. I will pin her down when it would get to that point. But you shouldn't have to be pinning people down. You shouldn't have to be doing that shit. You shouldn't have to be doing none of that shit. That's crazy. Pulling patches of her hair out is crazy. You know you have fights and patches are pulled out of your head? Oh, man. I take it back. I was never Lou. No. Never. The, the, never, ever, ever. I don't ever. space on that, but no. I threw shit around. But I ain't throwing crockpots at nobody head. Thank you, Headliner and Mari. That's just Am I gonna crazy. rename the YouTube? Yes, I just have to figure out how to do it. Y'all understand that's my first time coming back to YouTube in two months. I barely know how to work to YouTube anymore. They changed the interface. I hadn't been on for after those two months. Been like six, six months before that. So just give me a second to figure out how to do it. Uh, once again, 
Just gotta keep saying it because some of y'all just got this storyline wrong. I if I was how the can one I comment? to be left by Lou, I could just kind of see how y'all could see how I'm doing this for a reason, but beyond what I'm doing it for. But just remember, how that's not what I happened. I, that's not what happened. So if it's trying to be spun in regards to me, I just don't. I just can't even possibly imagine how she gonna try to spin this, but. Just understand it's a spin, okay, y'all? Just know that. Just Hell, know, we from, know from the jump. I don't know how else to tell y'all. Just know from the jump. It's a spin. That's what happens sometimes when people get caught in their bullshit. They they got a lot of... Either they're going to lie or they're going to tell the truth. She's choosing to lie. Whatever the case may be. I don't care. Am I moving away? So that's a good Please question, do. too. Um, I have spent so much time moving as a result of this situation, y'all. And this is, again, the truth, too. Because we had you know, issues, I would feel uncomfortable living in these places. And that is, again, in one of and the, 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 the stories that I posted on my Instagram, those were pretty much how all of them went. That's why I posted those because they were the, the best versions of it. One version where I might say something small, but not nothing enough for me to get smacked up. And here I go, go get it smacked up. One where I don't have to be doing nothing just because I can't find my ladder to please you in a the moment. Then that can happen. Uh, no. I don't even remember why my face got scratched up all, all of that other one and then one where it's just like you're just so gone now you're so gone at this point that you don't even know why you're doing it child when a crop pop got thrown in my head I did not know why y'all you oh, know how scary it is man. when you don't know why Yeah. Like, nah, what, did hell I, what could nah. I have possibly done to you to have that happen Not a damn and then thing. you can't even communicate why to me because you're so messed up that's the reason why I stayed for so long because I it wasn't the person that I loved doing that to me. That wasn't her. It was the other person. But unfortunately, the other person became too prevalent in the situation. Mm, 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 and I, I was seeing that person too much towards the end. And that's what led it to the very end. I, I, it's just a shame that this time, this whole time, I was just made to feel like I... Just failed somebody. I didn't just fail you. You failed me, girl. Man, like, hell seriously, yeah. Seriously, you failed me. I did everything that I possibly could. And that's what hurts the most about this situation. I did everything I possibly could to do right. And you just couldn't. And even in me leaving, you still just can't do right by me. Man, that's I, I don't know. Crazy. I honestly expected for her to apologize. And I know that makes me look huh? stupid. And foolish, yeah. And I do feel kind of stupid. Yeah, you should. That you anything should. could change. But... I really, truly thought that she would just be like, not explain too much and maybe be like, you know, there's a lot of shit that happened, but I do apologize that that, that happened. I shouldn't have did that. I thought it was going to be something simple, but for it to be literally uh, basically saying false, knowing how many conversations we had about this situation behind the scenes, how many times you told me it was done, how many times I said I would take it to meetings, all of these things. You were supposed to take, take me to gambling meetings. I'm supposed to take you to AA meetings. We were supposed to go through this. That's crazy. I saw somebody say some crazy, this is the craziest thing, I, the craziest uh, speculation I saw. Somebody said Lou was hitting Tay. <laughs> this is funny, y'all. Lou was hitting Tay because Tay was gambling her money away. No, y'all. No. I never gambled none of Lou's money away ever. Ever. Lou, and I said it even in the video, Lou was never affected by my gambling. Nobody was affected by my gambling but me. Because I never gambled to the point of not being able to maintain the household. I would gamble to the point of just being able to maintain the household. Uh. So what I was experiencing was a lack of growth in that moment. But I wasn't like on the streets itching. I didn't even make that clear too. Because y'all, I, I need, I'm trying to fix the narratives, narratives of y'all trying to tell me why I was getting hit. Even though I know I don't have to. Her, her just throwing away a bag. But it's just crazy. interesting to see why you would think somebody deserves to be hit. Like, why y'all would think that. Whatever y'all think. No. It, it was the alcohol. It was the alcohol. It was 100% the alcohol. Does she That's still what drink? The reason. That's what I want to know. She didn't have a reason in the morning. Does she was Lou very apologetic drink? every morning. And I was willing to go through it with her because... I just knew. And there would be some times where there was fans of where it wasn't happening at all. So that's why I would be hopeful. And that's what happens. They, they won't do it for a while. You get hopeful. And then it happens again. And you're like, well, it took a long time for it to happen this time. But then the it starts to shorten again. And then you're like, well, I'm going to leave. And then it's like, no, I'm not going to do it anymore. So then they stop for a while. But then it starts to shorten again. Like...
I think this should be the end of it. After she says she, what she has to say, as long as she's not making any new lies on me, I don't think I would have to defend myself anymore because I'm not. But if it comes down to it, y'all, I'm not the only person that knows the situation has happened. And there's people, like I said, that is not even on my, in my family. It's not my family. Her family that will vouch for me. Like, it's not. That's crazy. You can't get nobody from my family to vouch for you. I just, I didn't go through this in secret all the she way. She dating somebody new? Um, so, Louis? That's that. That's that. Damn. All the information that I could share, I possibly shared already. I, I don't think there's anything else I could talk about. Girl, she just I let it guys. out. I want to end this live because I don't want, I really wanted to make t-shirts, which is what my goal was for the whole day. Just have me and my sweet tea making some t-shirts, but obviously I know I wasn't going to get away with not talking about this. So I'm not going to hide from it. That's the whole purpose of the situation. I'm tired of hiding from it. I just want to go through it so I can move she on. She said she my hasn't been self. on a date yet. And she don't need to go on a date. I think I have touched on it. <laughs> she I don't, don't think need to there's go on any a date questions. I think a lot of people are asking me how long. Everybody long should time. just be single. That's why I would say a long time. Some of those questions kind of make me embarrassed. So if you see me not touch a base on some questions, it's because I a part of me is still embarrassed that I had to go through the situation too. Like it's not, I'm not totally out of that yet. I'm I'm able to talk about it, but I'm still embarrassed by it because I look stupid, bro. Like I look stupid. It's given this been going on Everybody for like three saw years. How much I doted over just a moment, and I just like I look dumb. Bam. But that's just sometimes what when you love somebody, you be willing to go through a lot, Ugh. and. When you stop loving them and you're out of it, you start to realize like the amount of shit you put yourself through. Because ultimately, I could have left way earlier, and I did it because I didn't have a good self esteem for myself, and I had abandonment issues on my own, and all of that stuff, and I believed in all of this shit. And just don't be like me, yo. Don't be a dumb bitch. Oh, <laughs> say, man, don't be no dumb bitch like me. Don't let that shit last for that long. Some people might be experiencing it for even more, but just don't let shit like that last that long. That's terrible. Thank you, guys. Thank you to everybody that sent the hand heart, by the way. You guys see I have a heat press, whatever the case may be. I do all of my weeding. So anybody that sent a hand heart, I forgot to say that. Anybody that has sent the hand heart during this stream has... All of those funds are going to, towards my eco-solvent printer, which is a very expensive printer, but it'll thoroughly... Shorten the process of me making the t-shirts that I would like to make and also expand the ways I could do it. Thanks, Red. Um, and yeah, so that's where all of, if you guys wonder where it's going, I think I should, I'll start telling you guys where things are going um, just for transparency. That's what I'm saving up for towards right now. Uh, everything, all of the orders that I got and stuff like that, I'm pretty much flipping them or reinvesting into this business because... Again, I spent so much time in that damn casino trying to hide from my life, trying to hide from my problems, that it's what I know. Like, that's my comfort. Going to the casino, the smell of it, everything about it, it's just like, hmm, home. So I'm trying to oh, force myself terrible. to make something new my home, like my actual home, and she make did. this feel like it's a healthy place. So me having, like, business somewhere at home or something that I could physically do and, and all that stuff. Thank you so much, Mrs. Eliza, and thank you so much. Ty and Kiki, everybody. Um, me physically having this business at home, and every single time I get an order, I be I, it's weird because I be sucking my teeth, but I be just so happy in my head. How like, do people get the I'm message? Like, Dang, I gotta make another order, but in the back of my head, I'm just like, thank God, like thank you, Jesus, for this. Okay, play the game. Do There's some reaction. I could distract Strength. myself, but it always led back to the casino, which is why I wanted to stay home and figure out what she I needs do something else to, to do and occupied. she need to move and this is she is in the constant. wrong area so <laughs> come to atlanta thank y'all y'all really don't single know her in atlanta form of fashion y'all have made me realize that i, I can mean, still do it there's some snakes out here now there's a lot however they I everywhere will still figure this shit out I will she need to have some a little bit better feet. discernment all of this shit is still possible and that's because of y'all go home i am home She know where you live. <laughs> I already reached out to her. She, uh, she ain't ratched back. Y'all gotta go you, spam Jen. her. Uh, thank you, scriptures. Thank you, Red. Or what you call it? Coco, thank you so much. Post more proof. I'm invested. 
Damn, Post Malone. And I know you say Post that, like, That's you know, terrible. maybe partially sarcastically and jokingly, maybe because you're really that nosy. But I know I'm saying this to deaf ears right now. I just implore you guys to remember that I'm not, like, celebrity, like, I'd be on red carpets or anything like that. I'm like a person, like a popular person. I'm not no celebrity. So when y'all say stuff like that to me, I be like, y'all know I'm for real, like a real person, right? Like I'm for real, like, and I really got feelings and y'all really can hurt them. I know, I know a lot of people try to act like they just never hurt by but nothing anybody says. I'm not that person. I like to have full disclosure. Sometimes y'all really hurt my damn feelings. Like this ain't no damn joke. I, I'm not going through this shit to be funny. Like this ain't, this ain't funny. Now, if you're purposely trying to hurt my feelings, then it's not going to work. So for the for the people that try to troll after that, it's not gonna work. Rat y'all but around to the people, corner. Sometimes y'all just say statements right. that y'all don't even realize is very hurtful. Like, not post more proof. I'm invested. That's not why. Post, I should more, post more proof. proof I'm invested. It's terrible. I posted oh, enough. It's just that. How I'm do you not. comment, y'all? Why can't I comment? Uh, oh, a pet update. Everybody. Well, I guess because you guys will come to my stream. My dog lives with my cousin. Uh, okay. Oh, I gotta get coins. He to has comment? for quite some time now. I need to get on that's, fucking that's TikTok. Just I haven't. I can't have an animal right now because I'm trying to figure out if I'm moving or whatever the case may be. Where I'm going, if I'm staying. I'm trying to stay here for the moment because I don't. I'm tired of just jumping whenever something goes wrong. I'm tired of just moving out and doing this and doing that. I need to settle myself. I like it here. I love my apartment. Um, I don't like what happened here, but I love. I love the. the oh, you stay in the Delaware same place. New York and, oh, duh, and the places yeah, I like to go and, and Jersey and all of that stuff. So it's not a bad spot for me to be. I have a lot of space to potentially build this t-shirt business. Thank you guys so much for the freaking hand hearts. Thank you guys. I have a lot of space to build, you know, my dreams here. So that's what I'm going to do. Do I still have a relationship with her daughter? That is a good question. Um... No, I don't have a relationship with her daughter, but it doesn't mean that I haven't spoken to her daughter. When I say relationship, I feel like that's a strong word, which means I'm seeing Them her regularly. Them fucking comments and going so like fast. That, no. I would have to say to some stupid shit wants, for her to see it, and that will never change. Uh, of course, I will contact her holidays stuff like that. But I think it's very important to also note that Lanai was always a really big Lanai. I love I love Lanai to death. Okay, and that's the reason why I stayed for a long part of this situation. So Lanai is always going to be a very sensitive topic for me. I love Lanai to the core of me, and I know that she knows that. And if she ever wants to reach out to me, I, I, she can. And, if, and for special occasions, I will reach out to her. But I also like to give families space. You can't... I don't want to intrude on something knowing how... Okay, let's put it like this. I was with Lou... And her ex-girlfriend, the when her ex-girlfriend would try to engage with Lanai, I saw how Lou felt about it. And seeing how Lou felt about it, me being the ex-girlfriend now, I don't want her to think that I am trying to navigate towards her through her daughter. I never want her to feel like that. But Lanai knows for 100% fact that she always has access to me if she ever needs me for whatever the case may be. I live five minutes away, she knows that. And if she Five had needs anything, she could But in regards to, oh, God. like, me, what if like, being pushy the with the situation, no, I'm not going to do that. I respect people's, you know, family and stuff like that. And plus, Lanai was also a sensitive subject when it came to the situations At I was going point, through. I so, like, <laughs> for my own recovery, I had to take a moment for me and know that she has a lot of people, a lot of love surrounding her. And my love is still here at all times. Thank you, guys. <clears throat> Thank you, TT. Thank you, Jana. Do I still have my Jeep? Yes, I still have my Jeep. What does my shirt say? I'd rather talk to my plants. They are great listeners this is like one of the shirts on my site but you see guys it has a 3d print it's hard to tell but i like that puff print me too why was i in her child's father's shed anyway because we're family we're at that time we were i'm still family to him uh, uh you know like we still we're still good <laughs> we're still good 
She probably was it's doing a very close knit family, and I had the beauty of partaking in it, which is another reason why this situation was so difficult for me because you can't run to somebody else's family about oh, somebody. Damn. You know what I'm saying? You just can't do that. Like my family's not here, I can't run to her family about it, so I had to deal with that shit by myself, or make a phone call. Yeah. yeah, somebody said you was paying your child support. Like, yeah, of course nah, you don't like me, but that's not why he likes me, y'all. But it's crazy. The, I think her child's father appreciates me because, despite whatever was happening, I always cared about what was what was good for Nye. You know what I'm saying? I ne- like despite everything that was happening, that was always he my had first custody because she's irresponsible. She got what she needed, stuff like that. Like, and what? I do think that parents should pay for their kids. I don't care what the fuck happened. Your kid needs to be provided for, so I did. And, yeah, me- you know, she can't. There's certain things she knows she can't lie about because if she lies about it, the people that I paid it to will tell the truth. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, just don't don't lie about everything. That's all I have to say. Don't lie about everything because then Man, you don't have she- zero credibility. Yeah, because when she come live, if she get the line, y'all, girl, <laughs> y'all, she gonna get drugged through the mud if she come out here lying. I ain't gonna lie. Was Not she by the me. same way with him? I can't speak on their relationship, but I mean, we've talked about it. We, I, I mean, know she knows. I've seen she her snuff him before. I don't. I can't talk on their whole relationship. I can just go based on what I was a part of, and that was another reason we got to a fight before because I, I was like, "You drinking too much? You snuffing him? You doing too much, bro? You doing too much?" You know, again, something that he don't have no problem. Attesting to she My- didn't have access to one 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 in the chat. She didn't have access to the money because she wasn't putting in on the channel. That's what she's saying. And when she got drunk, she would potentially delete the channel. That's why she ain't had no access. Mm-hmm. But they, can you imagine like, somebody saying, "If you piss me off, I'm gonna go to your boss and I'm gonna tell him you stealing." Can y'all imagine that? The YouTube channel, all we got. So if it get deleted, boy, that's bad. Nothing wrong with it to me. And I would do it again for a night. It had nothing to do I with delete Lou. the channel. That's how the bills get paid. Father, you everything to do with Dota. the fact that I was in a child's life that I cared crazy. about. And I... Crazy, crazy, crazy. Didn't want the child to go without from this part of her, this side of our situation because we could provide. Like, why not? I would do whatever. I would do whatever at the time. Whatever I would do, was able to do for my own kid, I would, I would do for her. That's crazy. If this child go live at 11 and lie. If she's getting paid, why did you have to pay it? She didn't want to use her money to pay for it. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. She didn't want to use her money to pay for the child support because of her issues that she has with her child's father till this day. That's the reason. Oh, nah, but me being a part of the family now, just because she didn't want to do it doesn't mean I don't want to do it because I still think that the child has to be provided for. She goes, well, the child do need to be provided for. I have no reason to lie about that. Why the fuck I, want to, I can't lie? And that's why she kept bringing it up. You don't even take care of your daughter because her ass over here paying child support. Which is resentment, because she ain't really want to pay that shit. This shit crazy, man. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Did what transp- transpired make me put my walls up? No. I don't think it made me put my walls up. I just, with each relationship, that's with any relationship. You learn the things that, you learn what to look for in people, and what's red flags, or whatever the case may be. I don't get it to like I don't have red flags too. I definitely can have my own red flags, but they not like that. I don't care what nobody says. They ain't that. So instead of me putting my walls up, what I've done is be more cautious, but not walls are up. If the right person is around, then I feel like I would be able to easily get to know them. But my focus right now has nothing to do with that. Like I need to figure out who the hell I am. And I I mean to a certain extent, I need to figure out what will make me happy? I've already figured out why 
I allowed this stuff to happen. And that's something that's personal for me. Like, why I allowed it to go on for so long. That goes into family history and all my trauma from childhood and all of that stuff. That's not the point. Where I go right now is to figure out what is going to make me happy. Like, how can I be happy long term? Mm. That's all I care about. Mm. She need to get the <laughs> hell out of there, dog. All right, y'all. I know moderators, if you're still alive, can you put a one in the chat? I'm not going to make y'all work anymore. Put a one in the chat, please. I just want to see if there's any moderators left. They just all left me to 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 uh, to the dust. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I see one of them. Okay, there we go. I, okay, they they still here. Y'all real ones. I'm sorry to make y'all work so hard. I'm going to end the live when I, when I do come back on live, which is not going to be tonight. It's going to be tomorrow. I don't care what it said about me. It's going to be tomorrow. Um, I'm going to be working on t-shirts. And I say that to say, I don't want to be stuck on this forever. The goal is for me not to drag it, but I, I do have to address some things so that it doesn't have to be dragged. But my life right now is these damn t-shirts and good energy and good space so please don't expect for me to be dwelling on this shit tomorrow i made i came on here tonight to get this over with so tomorrow i could get back to the regular schedule program go back to making t-shirts battling having a good time talking shit getting back to my regular tiktok schedule please allow me to do that i feel like i've been very transparent as transparent as i could be answered as many questions as i possibly could answer been as honest as i could be as honest as i can be um and that's all i got for you i love you guys dark stop i'm sure this will be up on somebody's youtube channel in literally five minutes literally if you missed it literally go go to their youtube search on youtube in three three minutes (laughs) absolutely that shit must have timed out it's about to be on my shit right now i have some things to say i got too much to say Now, I've done my share of shit, all right? And I'm not trying to do comparisons and shit. I just want y'all to know people are human, all right? YouTubers, celebrities, sports people, we human, you know what I'm saying? So we go through shit, right? But never have I ever in a lifetime threw a crock pot at anyone's head, threw anything at anyone's head, uh, you know, in general. And I'm not here to bash anyone. Uh, You know, I have my flaws. We all do, so... Everybody in this comments quit acting like your shit don't stink. However, comma, Lou, if you don't get the owning up to some shit and letting it be known like I was a mess, might still be a mess, but God is working on you, baby. Because obviously you are hurting. You are going through some shit. Do you hear me? And that's okay. We all have been there. But until you own up to your shit, like until you really own up to your shit, you're going to be living in hell. Do you hear me? Because you over there like, I'm happy. Life is good. I don't have any problems. And then getting on here saying she lying, calling her a narcissist, projecting all your shit. That's crazy, bro. I don't know what's worse, the crock pot or that. Either way. At some point, you're going to have to own up to some shit, dog. Or oh, they going to eat your ass alive. And for those that think I'm the one on the YouTube out here, you know, eating people alive, I don't. I always throw myself in the situation. I always try to let it, woman on the chat, I always try to let it be known. You know, none of us are perfect. I, I, I always do that because we are human. We, we, we do dumb shit. But a crock pot is just out of this world. You know what I'm saying? You hit my friend with a crock pot. In the head? Most crazy niggas like myself will hit the wall with it. Like, fuck you. Throw the crock pot. Dramatic. I get it. I'm a Leo. But to hit somebody that you supposedly love in the head with a crock pot is just some of the wildest shit I have heard today. Do you hear me? Because I can't even say in my life because I done done heard and seen some shit. But girl, you drove me to drinking today. Now, I just want to say that I hope that she come to this internet and tell her truth. 
if she get on here and deny that shit and be like, that wasn't me. That was my twin. Like that is, it, I, I really feel like that's some shit she would say. Like that wasn't even me. That was my twin, Gerdalia. You know what I'm saying? And y'all don't know who she is because she ain't trying to tell you I got a twin. Like, I'm dead ass serious. She has the type of complex that will never be able to say, I want one to chat, that will never be able to say, I did that shit. Like, real shit. We about to see how this is about to go. <laughs> but, baby, I just hope and I pray. That she come on here, keep it hot on her shit, walk in her truth, and do what she do. And I hope Tay can really find herself. Um, Tay, you know, I got to blame Tay for this. I'm sorry. How many times I got to throw hit you with a crock pot? How many times I got to spit on you? How many times I got to tell you I don't want to spend my own money on child support, but you can spend yours? Why the hell would you spend your money on the child support? If you didn't have to, shout out to you to be like, I ain't paying for it and you ain't either. So <laughs> you ready to go get something to eat? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I promise you, TT would pay her child support. You know what I'm saying? Like, so that's y'all. Or she would say, I ain't got it. Not just, I ain't going to do it. That's woo. I love y'all. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I am absolutely flabbergasted about the whole situation. Um, if y'all want to see these videos earlier, twitch.tv slash royalties world CEO. I'm going to put that in the beginning of this video. I am done with this. Let me know what you're thinking. Comment it, please. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.